For the last couple of years, Google has been working on adding a number of gestures to its YouTube application. Now this is the native YouTube application. I can't guarantee that this will work on the web app or the website for YouTube. But if you frequently use the YouTube application itself, then you may be familiar with some of the gestures that Google has been adding to it. Now I've covered these in previous tutorials. I'll be including a link to a few of them in the video description. We can even zoom in to the video itself with a pinch to zoom gesture. You see it goes all the way to the full screen when we pinch to zoom. So like I said, I've been showing you a number of these gestures, but a new one has recently been added to the application. I first saw this feature popping up about two weeks ago, but it's not been available on many of my devices. So I wanted to make sure that I was able to get a good demonstration of it for you. And the new gesture will allow us to use a slide gesture or a swipe gesture left to right in order to either fast forward through the video or rewind to a previous part of the video. Now in order to activate this, you're going to need to do a long press on the video itself while it's playing. You can see it's playing right now. I do a long press and after about a second the phone will vibrate and then I will get this message at the top telling me to slide left or right to begin seeking through the video. And I can let go of the video if I want. Maybe I did that by accident. But again, we activate this gesture by doing a long press. And once that gesture pops up, then we can scrub through the video. If I wanted to rewind it, I could just manually rewind it. If I needed to go to a later part of the video, I could just manually fast forward it. Now you should be able to do this gesture whether you are in full screen mode or not. Again, we just need to long press on the screen while it's playing to bring up this gesture. And as I mentioned, this new gesture for YouTube is not available on all of my devices, even though I have updated to the latest version. So I am suspecting that this is a server side switch type of update and that your device may have access to it right now, or you may have to wait another couple of weeks for Google to finish rolling out this update. But that is the latest gesture that Google has added to its native YouTube application.